Okay, so step one, material selection. Let's talk a little bit about this stuff. This is 18 millimeter birch ply. Now, if you didn't watch the previous video on all the different kinds of plywoods that are available, there's a link up here in this corner, somewhere in one of these corners. There'll be a link to a video about birch ply and the other kinds of plies. We're gonna pick this one because I think it's the best for our needs. It's got very, very good face. It's got a very, very good back. It's got lots and lots of layers. It's sturdy, it's firm, it'll finish well. So this is the material we're going to use. Now let's go upstairs, jump in front of the computer and I'll show you guys what the design is, what we're going to make and how we're gonna put it together. Follow me. Here is what we're going to be making. Now this is a, let's call it a hutch for the sake of the argument. And we're going to make the entire thing out of birch plywood. Okay, so let's just have a good look at this thing from the whole way around. It's going to have a, going to have a plywood back. It's going to have, we're going to build a cleat into the back here so it can hang onto the wall on a cleat, which is also going to be made out of plywood. It's going to have some round uh, pegs to hang stuff on, and we're going to turn those out of birch plywood, and they're going to look amazing. Then we're going to make stores that slide, a divider here, and we're going to make doors that slide from left to right and from right to left, and those are going to be in a channel that sits along over here. And it's going to be a storage box and a coat hanger and a hat hanger and an all-round very cool thing. What we've done is we've created our cutting diagram and we also have a cutting list. Now, I use a program called MaxCut, which is free software you can download. The difference between a diagram and a cutting list um, is obvious. The list is just a list and the diagram is a diagram. Now, Max Cut's a very, very smart program. Helps me get to like zero wastage or as little wastage as humanly possible. So we try and get every bit of um, material out of this without causing any wastage. Okay, so it's efficient. It saves you a lot of time and it actually shows you how this is all going to be laid out on a sheet of plywood. So pretty smart stuff. Now we are going to go ahead and cut that except I've saved you the boring hassle of watching me cut plywood because guess what? We've already covered this territory. So if you haven't seen the video on how best to cut plywood, check out this link up here somewhere. It's here or there or down here or wherever the thing pops up on the screen, that's where you click to see how you cut plywood, okay? What you see in front of me are the components. So these are all the components from my cutting list for our project. Um, if I go take you through the components, we've got our backing board, We've got our sliding doors, we've got our tops, we've got our bottoms, we've got our sides. And guess what? Here's the fun part. We've even got these guys. These are going to become turned round dowels. Now, can you turn plywood on a lathe? The answer is yes, you can. And you won't believe how sexy it looks. It's pretty cool stuff. So we've glued up these little blanks over here. We're going to go over to the lathe in a minute and I'll show you guys how we turn this into a nice round dowel. And for those of you who are already saying, but Al, I don't have a lathe. How do I turn? Not a problem. There are at least two or three ways to do this. So don't come with your excuses, all right? It can be done. There's easy, easy ways to do it. We're going to cheat and use a lathe because, hey, I've got one and it's fun. Um, so we'll turn those around. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some cutting of some joinery. So we're going to do something called finger joints for the corners. Then we're going to go to the table saw and what we're going to do is we're going to cut some grooves in the front of this and grooves in the back to house the, the backer board and in the front grooves in which our doors are going to slide. And we're not going to use any mechanical bits and pieces. This is all going to be just plywood on plywood. So we're going to cut our grooves. We're going to cut a rebate or a rabbit into our door and we're going to drop our door into that groove and it's going to slide back and forth and you're going to see how easy it is to do that. So lots to do. Stick around. While I'm busy doing all this, if you guys think of something that you want to ask or you have a comment or a question, pop that in the comment section down below. So subscribe, become part of the Universal Plywood family. There's loads to learn, lots, lots to see and um, let's get into it.